of singing and praying through the Word of God. Tonight we'll be reading from Isaiah 61. If you have your Bible, please open to Isaiah 61 and join us as we sing, pray, and meditate on the Word. Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 7. Isaiah 61, 1. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. Lord, you have chosen us. You've made us partners with you for your work in the hearts of men. You have set us free so that we can go out and do the same, and this is no small thing. God, we go out with praise and with good news on our lips to proclaim hope to all who need it. Thank you for inviting us into partnership with you, covered and anointed by your spirit to do what only you can do. Captives walk out of prison free at a word from you. You accomplish it through our mouths. Prison cells of fear and bitterness crumble to dust. You shatter the chains of oppression, anxiety, and despair by a proclamation of truth. God, you invite us to walk side by side out of the prisons with your sons and bind up broken hearts as they see your light and walk freely. We freely give ourselves to this work, God. Take us, God.
21, verses 2 and 3. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Lord, we see the favor you're pouring out and we proclaim it comes from you. We proclaim it to the ends of the earth. You desire to reveal your plans through your sons and servants. We stand ready and say, here I am. Lord, you send your anointed ones to those in need of comfort. For your children do not grieve alone. Send us, God. You are replacing sadness with joy and pouring the anointing oil of joy to cover our mourning. We bring robes of praise to cover those who are mourning, to raise up the heads and clothe those who are full of despair. God, give us eyes to see those who are mourning. Give us eyes to see the despair and send us with joy.
oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Lord, you lift up the heads of all who look to the day of your splendor. Even after mourning, you lift them up. You comfort them. And you make mighty those who faithfully seek your face and the establishment of your kingdom. The ruins will not remain a rubble heap, for you have already rebuilt and erased the devastation. We look to you and we see the fullness of restoration, God. We stand and declare the beauty of your splendor. To be oaks of righteousness, declaring your glory and your strength. You speak to your creation through the worship and praise of your people. We will open our mouths and we will praise. Oh Lord, I will praise you.
thank you that you are the giver of hope. That you have anointed us to take that hope out. To be the light that draws others into freedom. God, we thank you for our part in the partnership. We will be faithful. stories of what they think you're like but I've heard tender whisper of love in the dead of night you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone good good father who you are, to who you are, to who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. I've heard, I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. But I've heard a tender whisper of love in the dead of night. And you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. I've seen many searching for answers far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers. Only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say.
you invite us into your courts one day in your courts is better than thousands elsewhere this is where we find joy where we find rest where we find peace you bring freedom God thank you Jesus now we will be going into a time of intercession through prayer topics tonight we'll be praying for Korea specifically for freedom from bondage in the nation of Korea we started out this evening with um, Isaiah 61 declaring freedom for the captives We do the same in intercession uh, with joy and knowledge that God is going to move. So please come into agreement with me as I pray along with the prayer points and then raise intercession with your own voice as the Spirit leads you to pray through each topic. Our first topic is for freedom from fear and anxiety in Korea. 1 John 4, 18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We want to declare that the blinders of fear will fall from men's eyes. Pray that Jesus will be revealed as the Prince of Peace through salvation prophesy that the fear of the Lord will take the place of the fear of man in every heart. Lord, we stand in the truth that love casts out all fear. We pray a revelation of perfect love pouring out over this nation. We prophesy this love penetrating deep into hearts in each generation. We declare this pure love drawing each heart to salvation. Prince of peace, come, reign and rule in Korea. We prophesy that the fear of the Lord is being uprooted. That the fear of the Lord is uprooting every fear of man. That every parent, child, employee, and student in Korea chooses the fear of the Lord.
pray for freedom from bitterness and unforgiveness. Galatians 5.1 says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. So let's declare the strongholds of bitterness and unforgiveness crumbling in every heart. Prophesy men and women, children, experiencing full forgiveness through salvation. Pray for cycles of bitterness in families to be broken in this generation through salvation. Prophesy reconciliation breaking out in families and across borders. Lord, you desire to break people into freedom. Into freedom from bitterness and unforgiveness. No more will bitterness enslave the families of Korea in cycles of unforgiveness. We declare strongholds of bitterness melting from the hearts of people all over Korea as they surrender in joy to salvation. Lord, call this generation of mothers and fathers to reconciliation with their parents, with their children, bosses and friends. Burn in them a desire to live at peace with everyone and to let go of offense. Lord, bring freedom from bitterness and unforgiveness. Let's pray. through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father has made him known. So let's declare religion in all forms, losing hold on people's time, energy, and resources. Declare ears opened to simple salvation truth and hearts responding in full surrender. Prophesy the church growing in grace and thanksgiving in freedom. And prophesy families giving up rituals and rites for the joy of true worship. Lord, you've made
made us to be worshipers. Come and rightly divide between religion and worship in us, God. Open eyes and hearts in Korea to see truth and to feel true hunger. Let no law or ritual blind this nation to the true salvation through Christ alone. No other righteousness can fill the hunger for purity. No other name can save. Through no one else can we be made clean. Lord, let this truth flow through the nation. You have made us to be worshipers. Let us worship in spirit and in truth. Let's pray. says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's prophesy that despair is losing its grip on each generation in Korea. Declare revival and a flood of salvations to replace despair with joy and hope. Pray that hopelessness will only drive people closer to salvation. Declare hope rising up and scales of despair falling from eyes to see rightly. Lord, only you can fully lift the weight of hopelessness from the hearts and minds of this nation. Though reasons for the despair are different for each generation, the root is the same. Let this hopelessness draw men to yourself. We declare hope rising up for a future secure in trust and faith in the one who can hold each generation. You hold them in your hands, God. No longer is this a nation held by depression or unhappiness. Blow away the oppressive fog of hopelessness. Blow away despair. And reveal your hope, God. Let's pray.
thank you that you are bringing the dancing. You are bringing freedom for the captives. You declared it long ago. Freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. God, you have anointed us. We will go. We will be the light. We will be the joy. We will be the hope. And we will bring the truth. Open our eyes, God, and pour out your freedom on this land. We thank you, Jesus.
Lord, thank you so much for tonight、um, that we could pray for this wonderful nation of Korea. We know that your heart goes out to this nation, Lord.、Um, we know that your love for this nation is so great that、um, it's because of you that we are here right now.、Um, With so many wonderful things, God. And,、um, and I just pray that as we continue to pray for this nation, that people will see you, God. There are still so many people that do not know you and do not know how much love you have for them, God. And it is our desire to see every one of them、um, turning to you, Father, lifting their eyes on you to see that you are the one true God that they need to serve and they need to know and they need to rely on, Lord. And so, God, as we continue to pray for this nation, I pray that you will break all the bondages, God, all the chains that they're carrying right now. We pray and proclaim freedom, Lord Jesus. And I pray that you will use us. Those who know you, Father, to carry your gospel, carry your love, and carry your good news to share、um, to those who do not know you, Father, that we'll be able to bring the light to their darkness, that we'll be able to bring freedom, that we'll be able to be the vessel to break the chains, God, for them, Lord. Yes, Lord, we want to lift up this nation to you. Thank you so much for. What you're doing. Thank you that you are already working so powerfully in this nation, God. Thank you so much for、um, this ministry, K1, that we can come together to sing to you and to、um, worship unto you, Father, and also intercede for different nations, God. And as, as we continue with this ministry, Lord, that we'll be able to know you more, that,、um, that we'll be able to go deeper into your heart, that we will know what you are thinking, what you're feeling, not only for us, but for the world, God. That we'll be able to be guided by you in knowing how to pray for Israel, how to pray for Korea, how to pray for North Korea, how to pray for、um, each, and, each one of us, God. So I pray that you will lead us, God. Make this a place where we can connect with you, Lord. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you so much for your grace and your mercy and your favor, God. You are a good, good Father, and we honor you and we worship you. We love you so much. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you are blessed. And if you're interested, we have K1 tomorrow morning as well. So please come out and worship with us. Thank you so much for everything. Have a good night.